In this video, we'll learn how to capture sound using the Auphonic Recorder app for iOS. So this will work for iPhone, iPad, or iPod. I've already gone ahead and installed the app. First thing I'll do to get set up is tap the gear icon in the upper right to access the settings. So here I can set the microphone that I'd like to capture sound with. I'll be using the front mic. Now I can set the format that my sound files will be captured in and PCM audio is what I'd like in this case. My sample rate, I'd like to be set as high as possible. So 48 kilohertz is the max that I can get with this app. Channels will set whether to record in stereo. Now, my phone doesn't have a stereo mic, which is fine, so I'll just leave that on the default. Under precision, 16-bit will be just fine for what we're doing. The input gain option lets us adjust how sensitive the microphone is. On the default setting, this app will do a pretty good job of automatically adjusting microphone sensitivity. But sometimes if we're dealing with very loud sounds, we might need to set this manually. Last but not least, I wanna make sure under monitoring, my headphones and USB option is checked. That way I can listen to what the microphone is picking up through my headphones. I'll click done to go back to the main screen. Now, it's very important when you're recording sound to be able to listen to what the microphone is picking up. I've got this set of plug-in earbuds that I'll plug into my headphone jack. You could also use Bluetooth or any other headphones that will connect to your device. I'll go ahead and hit record. And I've got this tuning fork, which will generate a tone when I hit it. That way we can test out some of the microphone settings. As I bring it closer to the mic, Notice the gray bar towards the top of the app. That's the levels meter, showing me the loudness of the sound that the microphone is picking up. The closer I move the tuning fork to the mic, the louder it gets, and the farther that levels meter goes to the right. Just below the levels bar, there's a numerical scale in decibels. Ideally, we want the maximum peak of the levels to be between negative 12 and negative 6 decibels. If we try to record a sound that's too loud, where the levels meter goes above negative six, we'll get distortion in our recording. This is called clipping. When we cross over into levels that are above negative 12, the levels meter will turn red. So that's a warning that we're getting close to the maximum levels peak that we'd like. So ideally, we'd like to have the gain or sensitivity of the mic set to pick up all the sounds we're interested in, but not be so sensitive that sounds overwhelm the microphone and lead to clipping in our recording. Sometimes we'll be dealing with very loud sounds like we get from this electronic noisemaker, and those will definitely overwhelm the microphone and cause clipping in our sound files. So watch the levels bar. When I activate the noisemaker, I can see the levels meter is turning red and hitting all the way towards the right hand side. That means the sound is so loud that we're overwhelming the microphone. I can compensate for sounds that are too loud by going back into the settings. So to stop the recording, I'll hit pause and then stop. Then let's go back into our settings and adjust that gain so that the microphone isn't quite as sensitive. And I'll take this all the way down to negative 36 decibels. Now when I hit record again, the microphone isn't quite as sensitive. Notice the peak level on my audio meter is hitting right between negative 12 and negative 6, and that's about the highest levels I'd ever want in a recording. So I'll go ahead and stop this recording. When I hit stop, I'll automatically jump to that specific recording where I can change the name or add notes. To see all my recordings, I can tap the recordings button. That's the middle one in the bottom toolbar. For any recording that I'd like to transfer to my computer, I can click on it, then click the share icon. Then I can either share the file or upload it to iCloud. I'll click share, and this gives me options for sharing via email or messages or my Google Drive. So I'll click the Google Drive option. And here I can specify a folder to send this to. I'll just go ahead and upload to the default main drive folder. Then I'll be able to get that file later for editing. All right, so that's an overview of using the Auphonic Recorder app on your iOS device.